happened on Monday, but it's only uh, yesterday that the family of, of the woman finally uh, built up the courage to go to the police because, uh, uh, especially in rural areas of India, people often believe the police will not take such complaints seriously. And um, in the village itself, we understand many people are denying that anything happened. They're blaming the woman uh, herself for, for raising this issue. So in some ways, we're seeing the kind of a familiar closing of ranks, familiar reaction to this, to this kind of thing. The fact is, though, uh, there are often pretty shocking unofficial punishments carried out on uh, uh, couples who are seen to have transgressed uh, codes by uh, going off with someone from a different caste, in this case, in this case uh, with, with someone uh, not from the tribe. Uh, but this certainly is a particularly shocking case, and I think uh, given all the attention there's been on the issue of rape in India, I think we're, we're seeing already the police there actually uh, trying to take this quite seriously. What uh, often happens uh, uh, in other cases is that um, a, a woman and a man, when they are accused of breaking these codes, they are then both uh, murdered, often by their own family, by their own relatives. Um, in this case, we understand, in fact, that the head man who ordered this was, in fact, uh, distantly related to the woman, uh, the woman at the centre of this. Uh, these kinds of traditional punishments, although they are uh, quite hard to understand in the, in the outside world, they still go on um, in many parts of India. But this is certainly, as I say, a particularly shocking case.